Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today is the day. Today is the day I'm going to share with you guys all the clothes we picked up at one stop last weekend. Funny thing is, is though, we left the house that the day was started off irritatingly because we left the house, got down the road, saw that this yard sale was like at the end of our road, stopped, realized we didn't have hardly any cash. Wait, we didn't have the camera either. Right. We didn't have the camera. And I knew the I knew that the, the batteries were sitting on the table. So we came back home and got the batteries. Came home, got the batteries. Left. Went to the bank. Went back to the yard sale. And then realized we didn't even have the camera. The camera wasn't even in the bag. So none of this got recorded, y'all. I just was like, it's not meant to be. So, but this is all, it was like a parking lot sale. And I think everybody was family. I think, or workmates. There, there, there were about three different businesses there, and it was employees of the businesses, right. I think. So, oh, everything we bought, the shoes, which I didn't even mention before, the shoes were $2 each, and all of the clothing was $1. And I've got a pile here, and then all of this. I think, based on their counting, um, we bought about 140 items for $1 each. The problem is, a lot of it's my size. A lot of it. So I am going to take this opportunity to treat myself to some nicer brands. You treated yourself when you married me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to agree. See, I'm not even going to let you start stuff. <laughs> All right, let's start with the shoes since they're right here and I can get move them. I watch a lot of other YouTubers who sell clothing. And my favorite three is the Hustle at Home Mom, Kaylee Elaine, and Common Tags. They're very good about saying the brands and showing the tags. And that's kind of like what I do with you guys with the toys. I'm always trying to say the brands and show you the tags quite often to kind of just, you know, get that in your brain. So a lot of this, I was like, ooh, I know Kaylee Elaine's talked about this. Oh, I know Hustle at Home Moms talked about this. And then some of the brands I'm already learning. So it, it was fun. But I'm pretty sure I've heard of this brand from one of them. Now these shoes, it says Good American. Look, not even anywhere on them. And we paid $2 for them. And then one, two, three, four, y'all. Four of these. They are Tory. No, this one isn't. Oops, let's take that back. All right, three of these, they are Tory Birch. Look, still has those little stickers on the bottom. This pair, a red pair, and a gray pair. I didn't even look at what size they are. Wouldn't that be funny if they are a size six? Don't know. Don't know. But excellent condition. $2 each. All right, I looked at these. They are, I gotta look. Look at the bottoms. They have these like nubs. M Jimmy, J G E M I. Very interesting. Again, in excellent condition. Do they dance around and make? Noises like the like Jimmy my plush. Jimmy toys. <laughs> and then I had to, these boots. Look at these. Two dollars. They look like cow skin. But they are M Y R A. I wonder what horse maybe. Horse or cows. You know what I mean? The, I doubt they're that, but I'm just saying that's what they look like. They're they're furry. Oh, these are sevens. So I, I bet you all of these shoes are sevens, which isn't my size. All right, and then not seasonal, but I grabbed a bunch of sweaters. So I'm just gonna kind of show you them. There was quite a bit of loft. So I did grab them. Just sweater. A lot of these are my size, like I said, but there were some larger size, well, some like mediums. Loft, I'm just gonna go through these. Look, Vineyard Vine. Vineyard Vine. I know that brand. 
this is Columbia. Look at this. Y'all, a lot of these have their tags still. Big old sweater. Cowl neck type one. I don't think this one had its tag. Look at that. All right, this is Cherish. It's just really soft. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I don't know anything about that brand. Cool in the gang saying about that shirt or brand. Song time. Song time. <laughs> All right. These, there were quite a few. I think this is it. Nope. Oh, yeah. Banana Republic. I picked up a couple of them. Just big old sweatshirt with the cow neck. We do okay with Banana Republic. I like Banana Republic. Okay, this says Oddy. O-D-D-I. Why, I mean. Just very floral. I'm trying to think what flower that is. Almost looks like I'm guessing hibiscus, maybe. Very cute. This says, oh, Lou Gray for Loft. I remember hearing Kaylee talk about anytime you see a brand and there's a four, you know, what are they called? Comp not a collaboration. A collaboration type stuff to definitely check it. But I thought that was just very cute. It looks like the rugs my mom had in the kitchen when I was a kid. Or a, a dish rag, a hand towel. This one has its tag. It is loft, medium. Look, very cute. Now, yeah, kind of like with seasonal toys and stuff, I'm, I'm going to list all of this stuff now and just let it sit. Then I'll put it on eBay, cross-list it to Poshmark. I think this is very neat. Look at this. It's kind of a boho kind of jacket shirt. Oh, Davy and Danny. I'm assuming Danny. Davy. Davy and Danny. I don't know. Very cute. Not my size. I don't wear things with long sleeves for the most part. More sweaters. This is Day Trip. It was a size large. Love the colors. Lots of sweaters. All right, this, hmm, very dark. Jenny Kane with a K. Extra small. But just very cute sweater. Remember, oh, this was a dollar each. I was making piles. And as I was going through the piles, the guy that was unloading everything, because we were there right when it started, he was just like, ooh, look, ooh, look, this has tags. And I would just take it from his hand and put it in my pile. But to tell the whole story, he was taking them out of totes to put them on the table to sell. Right. Yep. This is Miracle USA. Very nice. Oh, look, the back is split. Oh, I don't even know keywords for this kind of stuff. So if you see something and you're, you know, give me a time point and tell me what you think. What are the keywords you would use for something like that? Keyword for that is a sweater that I didn't have enough thread to finish. <laughs> oh, this is another day trip sweater oh look i see a snag that's not good not good at all depending on dollar value i'm sure i'll still list it if it's worth oh it's got the little knot in the front interesting it says it's a small but y'all that's very large and let's see two more sweaters Oh, Barefoot Dreams. I know I heard Kaylee talking about that one. And maybe Hustle at Home Mom. I have a feeling that is something really, really good. It says it's one size. Cozy, chic, lights. But look, I'm going to back up. Look how nice. Y'all, it is so soft. Last sweater. Man, just soft. And Taylor. Extra small, small. But look how big that is that 
How like can that be an extra small? Looks like something Batman would wear to let him glide. It's like a poncho, I think. Look at the side. Big old armholes. Again, what do I call this? Bat wing suit. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. That's one thing I appreciate about men's clothing. We have pants. And we have dress pants. We have shorts. We have jeans. And jeans. Active wear. And we have shirts with varying lengths of sleeves. And that's about it. We don't have <laughs> bat wing suits or something. I mean, unless we're actually trying to dress up like Batman. Uh, this had a, it came from the Nordstrom Rack. This is Madewell. Little t-shirt. Polo Ralph Lauren. Just a golf shirt with poke dots. What size? Medium. Classic fit. I'm guessing that's a guy's. Buttons are on the guy's side. Another one with its tag. J. Jill. Sweater. No sweater. Very soft pink shirt. Can't really see the size. Makes me want to keep it if it's my size. Nope, medium. This is Loft Vintage Soft. Now I do like that. Sleeveless. Yeah, these were hanging, but everything. This is looks very vintagey. Kahala men's Hawaiian shirt. We find these a lot around here. I think people just like, they go on vacation and then they put them in their yard cells. Look, I never hardly find this brand. Look, Eileen Fisher. You know, just a comfy, casual women's shirt. When we do find Eileen Fisher, it is usually 30 years old at an estate sale. It's something, yeah. you know, something very, very vintagey. They look like they're 30 years old. Maybe that brand wasn't even around then, but that's what they look like. BKE. Size small, I think. We've done well with that brand in the past. Yeah. It's a brass buckle brand buckle. I think. Buckle. Just buckle? buckle. It's, it's not buckle. from the brass buckle? Not from the brass buckle? I don't think so, no. What's the difference? I don't know. Here's another loft on a shirt with its tag. $34. Very cute. Now, we don't know this brand. We've looked. We tried to Google lens it. I like it though. I might end up keeping it so it'll be a mute point. Moot point. But what is this? But I think I'm keeping it anyway. This is, oh, Victoria's Secret. I think I have some leggings that were there too. Very cute, small. Wanna, is it a night shirt or is it a shirt shirt? Oh, this is intriguing. I ain't even gonna try. Uh oh, altered state. Now I get it. Look at that large though. This is oh, and I see tags. Sixty-nine dollars. Very cute though. Here is. Ann Taylor, just a black shirt. What is this? Looks like, oh, We the Free. Y'all, I never find free people stuff. Never. So this is a shirt. Yeah, I'd never seen that brand in this mm -hmm. area at all. I see other people talking about it. Look here. Now, this brand. This the, brand. I saw that a few weeks back at a yard sale, and she wanted 40 bucks a pop. Look, y'all. Lily Pulitzer with its tags. I 
Look how cute. Just nice, but another one. As its tags, just very. That, oh, does that go inside? Oh, yeah. How nice. Never ever do we find this. I just, I grabbed this. I don't know the brand. It says it's Mod Boutique, but I know like this boho stuff is trendy. So I thought I'd go ahead and grab it. So what is boho? I assume it stands for bohemian. Yeah, and just kind of loose and, you know, the sleeves sometimes have the like elastic and they're ballooned. So it has nothing to do with Mamma Mia. I don't know. The movie? Maybe. No, the song. Oh. Mama Mia, Mama Mia. <laughs> this says Ann Taylor Factory. Look, the original tag, $49.99. I love that it's got the cherry blossom. I'm guessing that's cherry blossom, but sometimes I get cherry blossom and dogwood mixed up. I've done that in the past. Look at these sleeves. What do I call them? Made well, medium, but I do like that. I think that just seems, that's me. That's me. We'll see. This says, this brand here, Z-Y-I-A Active, extra large, just this big old, hoodie but not very thick neat fabric lash nope one more shirt this oh we the free again i have a feeling i have some boys if these are boys shirts who probably are going to want to take these very nice this is very soft. Almost feels like velour. But it's Banana Republic. Just another one of those big old shirts, but soft. Right, this is Madewell. It was only like three dress-like things. It's big old t-shirt like, dress. Looks like a t-shirt for a very tall woman. Yeah. Not this woman. Oh, this is all kind of stuck. Oh, this is gorgeous. It has its original tag, Ann Taylor Petites. Y'all, I'm petite, and this thing, look. This is how long it is. Very nice. And I don't even know what to... Well, that is petite if, if you're the, you know, the height of the woman that would wear this long t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, this is like a skirt. Wasn't there a shirt like this? I don't know if it was loft. I don't know if I'd wear a, a print shirt and a print skirt that matched. I don't know, but it says it's small. I did have this kind of shirt, so I'm not sure if it was supposed to be a set or not. There's a shirt in, no. It wasn't it, it loft. Looks... No, they are different. Oh yeah, totally different. They are. Different. Yeah, very different. And then this. This almost looks like a maybe a like a cover or a robe. Because there's no buttons or anything. It's UMG USA. But just very nice, but very long. This is loft. It says outlet. Big old baggy pants with the bottom. I'm not sure. High rise jogger. That's the word I want. Jogger. These have their tags. It's from Nordstrom Rack. 
Madewell. Oh, Kaylee Elaine talked about these pull-up pants with these big flared legs. I feel like this is something she would have showed in a recent video. Just love it. I'm not even sure if those legs are flared. They're just They're wide, just big. wide all the I way know. down. Looks almost like a dress because the legs are so. You know, see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Almost look capri though. They look kind of short. All right, here's some jeans. Coco and Carmen. Size small. Yeah, I think because they've got elastic waist, they're just going to be small, medium, large. Very nice skinny legs. A dollar. These are Lucky Brand. This person must have been very small person. It says size six. It's very nice. I know a lot of times small sizes are harder to sell, but I mean, I still have to shop online. So, you know, I'm going to be looking. I go on Posh and try to look for, you know, the these shirts and stuff. This says Can Can. There was a couple of these. I want to say this is, says a 9 slash 28. I know this torn up distressed look is all the rage. It does have some, I don't know if that's actual wear or it may, it was came that way. These are nice because you just say distressed or destroyed. You don't have to worry about any imperfections. Yeah. But they sell for us. Yes. You've given me that look before. You're really going to buy those? And then they're shredded they and sell. they sell. Yep. These are free people. It says waste 30. Look at the bottom. All cut up. Intentionally, you can just tell that it was made that way. Very intriguing. All right. Regular old Levi's 527 boot cuts. We pick these up. We pick up a lot of Levi's. The Wranglers, Lee's. The flare leg stuff seems to be more in style now. So like yeah. the boot cuts. and. Ooh, these are Judy Blue size fives. I like those. And they're capris. These might have to go in the save for me pile to see if it fits. I like these two, but I know they're going to be too long. It's that Can Can Signature Curvy. Look at the bottom. Kind of. I think that's, that's, that's all the rage, I think, right now. Those are very flared. Very flared. These still have their original tag. It says, oh, can can again, but it's got this dark leather tag. But look, still has its pocket tag. All right, a couple more pants. And then the shorts and tights, which those are the ones I'm probably going to keep quite a bit of them. Because y'all know me, I wear t-shirts like today. I'm in tights. And what what I, I like to wear. And whatever the pants are, they have zero pockets. No pockets. Not a one. <laughs> because uh, you're always going, where's my phone? Where'd I put my phone down? Yeah. I found this neck, this thing that I can hang around my neck and stick my phone in and it just hangs. That's what I use when I remember it. Banana Republic. Again, small. These are, these are shiny. You guys see that? They're it's almost, shiny. It's like a fake leather looking stuff. But they're, they're just jeans. Oh, I might have to keep these, y'all. I found quite a few. You're going to see some of these in the shorts. But it's this Cali, Calier by um, Carrie Underwood. Look. And I think these were smalls. Nope, mediums. I might still try them on. Look. The leggings. What are they again? Jogging pants. Like, ooh, this is that American Giant. 
I've heard Kaylee talk about that brand. It's a pair of kind of leggings. Size six. These have their tag. Ann Taylor. Mediums. Kind of the stretchy waist, but it does have a side zipper. Nice. J. Jill with its tags. Nice stretchy pants. Pull up. And then over these. Oh, Duluth Trading. They're still women, size 8, with their tags. More like slacks, not jeans. And then another pair of the Judy Blue size fives. Oh, look, these are stretchy. Oh, no zipper. All right, last pile. So these are like extra fake. Yeah. They not only have fake front pockets, they have a fake zipper. Right. Just and, a fake, and a fake button. Kind of like leggings, but with a little bit more detail. Back pocket. It actually has back pockets, though. Oh, does it? Yes. Oh, they. might be a good... Let me see it. Is it big enough to hold my big old phone? Yes. Yeah. Those might have to stick around. I don't get it. All right. It's a pair of Eileen Fisher. What does it say? Petites. Petite small. Very nice. Y'all, a lot of these are going to have to be something I contemplate. All right, these Patagonia short shorts. Oh, wait, it goes this way. What are they? Medium. Well, are these men's? I don't know. Well, how do you tell? They'd be shorty shorts for men. But that's kind of but I noticed, right now. But I noticed that men's shorts are creeping back up the leg says worn wear. I don't know. I guess maybe if I can find a model or style number or whatever, it might be able to tell me. Oh, I think this is a, yeah, look. Look, little lemon with this big old long tag. These definitely are something I think I'm going to keep. Are they made by the same people that make the Ikea plush? No. Why you say that? Because of that tag. Oh, I know. Ikea definitely has the long tags, too. All right, this is Southern Tide. I've had something by this brand before. I think it was a shirt. Very cute. I'm all twisted up. Very nice. More tights. Oh, look. Lululemon. These are big long tag. My size. But I don't think I don't think I would want these. So yeah, I know it has a pocket in the leg. You don't want anything <laughs> with a pocket. They seem tight. Is Lululemon supposed to be that tight? All right, these are just old navy bike shorts. But I went ahead and grabbed them. Look, some more. Patagonia with tags, size small. I might keep these. Look again, y'all. I didn't even realize this. Lily, a little skirt, still has its tags. Seventy-eight dollars, size small. These are Victoria's Secret. I like these. Just kind of pastel colors. Look, men's Patagonias. I think Robert's going to see if these fit him and keep them. You know, for a dollar, 
Didn't have enough pockets, but they'll suffice. Yep. All right, Lululemon again, my size. These I might keep. What is this? Tear away. I don't know. Let's see if I can find. Oh, Under Armour tights. Don't think I like them. I wonder what this. What's the pocket for? The upside down pocket. Don't know. These feel good. Columbia medium. And the capris. There's actually another pocket in here. So there's oh. an inside pocket that that outer pocket folds down over to keep, I oh. guess, keys or whatever in maybe. Right. The under armors. There's a pocket inside that. All right. Look at these. These are... Columbia. I see a tag. Oh no. These, these would be good because I'm seeing pockets. Definitely something I could keep my phone in when we're yard selling. This is, oh, it's that Carrie Underwood shorts also. Might have to keep them. Uh-oh, almost to the end. Two more. Another pair of Patagonia shorts. And last but not least, oh, Columbia. And again, I might keep these if they fit me. All right. Fun, fun. Any help? Keywording this stuff is definitely appreciated. I am going to try to bump these ahead of all the other piles we have going here with clothes and go ahead and get them listed because I know a lot of that is going to be summer wear and things that hopefully are going to sell very quickly for me because, you know, toys kind of long tail a lot of times, some of the plush. So it'd be nice to have some trendy clothes that are going to sell very quickly with enormously great um, profit. Definitely profit. Sorry, my throat's making weird noises. Because we don't normally, we don't find these brands. We find brands that are slower selling. They sell for us. We, we sell quite a we few sell. clothes. Not like some of the other people do, of course, because we don't mm -hmm. have that many. and We don't find the fast selling brands, but they sell. They sell. And, you know, we're happy just having another niche to kind of fill in with the ebbs and flows of eBay and online reselling in general. We do a lot of pay one or two dollars and sell for 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll take those those profits all day long. All right, bye.